guys, what's up? Plate Medic here. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the talents and glyphs that Holy Paladins will have in Miss and Pedaria. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so in the first tier, you have Speed of Light. It's on a 1 minute cooldown and increases your movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds. Next up, we have Long Arm of the Law. Every time you land a successful judgment on your enemy, uh, it increases your movement speed by 45% for 3 seconds. Then the last one in the first tier is Pursuit of Justice. You gain 10% movement speed at all times plus an additional 10% movement speed for each current charge of holy power. Stacks up to 3 times. Alright, next up in the second tier, first we have Fist of Justice, it's on a 30 second cooldown, instant cast, and it stuns the target for 6 seconds, it replaces the Hammer of Justice. Alright, next up we have Repentance, uh, no longer only for Red Paladins, but it's, um, a 1.36 second cast stuns for one minute. Alright, next up in the last part of the second tier, we have Burden of Guilt. Uh, your judgment hits and fills your target with doubt and remorse, reducing the movement speed by 50% for 12 seconds. Alright guys, next up in the third tier, we have Selfless Healer. Your successful judgment reduces the cast time and mana cost of your next flash of light by 35% per stack and improve its effectiveness by 35% per stack when used to heal others. Stacks up to 3 times. Alright, next up we have Eternal Flame, costs 1 Holy Power, instant cast, consumes up to 3 Holy Powers to place a protective Holy Flame on a friendly target, which heals them for 3090 per charge of Holy Power every 2.72 seconds, for about 30 seconds. Alright, next up we have Sacred Shield. It's an instant cast, 40 yard range, and it protects the target with the Shield of Holy Light for 30 seconds, which increases the critical chance of your Word of Glory on the target by 30%. The Shield also absorbs roughly 8.2k damage when the target takes damage, but no more once every 6 seconds.
All right, next up in the fourth tier, we have Hand of Purity. It's an instant cast on a one minute cooldown. And it places a hand on a friendly target, reducing the damage of harmful periodic effects by 70% for 6 seconds. Alright, next up we have Unbreakable Spirit. Uh, when your Divine Shield, Divine Protection, or Lay on Hands are on cooldown, spending Holy Power will reduce the remaining cooldown by 1% per Holy Power spent, up to a maximum of 50% reduction. Um, I'm not going to show this because it will take way too long to show the full effect, but I think it's pretty self explanatory. Alright, next up. Last in the fourth tier, we have Clemency. It's a instant cast on a five minute cooldown. When activated, immediately finishes the cooldown on your Hand of Freedom, Hand of Protection, and Hand of Sacrifice, and also Hand of Salvation. Alright guys, next up, in the 5th tier, we have Holy Avenger. Uh, instant cast, 2 minute cooldown. Um, abilities that generate Holy Power will generate 3 charges of Holy Power for the next 15 seconds. Alright, next up we have Sanctified Wrath. Um, if you pop your wings and you have this talent, your Holy Shocks are not on cooldown. You can just spam Holy Shock until your wings run off. Alright, last but not least in the fifth tier, we have Divine Purpose. Abilities that cost Holy Power have a 15% chance to cost the Divine Purpose effect. And this is, your next Holy Power ability will consume no Holy Power and cast as if three Holy Powers were consumed. It's basically like the, um, Word of, uh, not Word of Glory, the uh, Eternal Glory in the Prot talent section that we have currently in Cataclysm that gives your Word of Glory a 30% chance to consume no holy powers. 15% really isn't a whole lot. I've been healing myself for like 5 minutes now trying to get it to proc but without luck so far it's definitely not something you can really rely on in Arena. There we go, I procced. Alright, so your Light of Dawn and Water Glory cost no holy power when it procs.